everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to take a look at Calculate Linux. It's based on Gen 2, also backwards compatible with it, built on the LXQT desktop. We are presently at their website, calculate-linux.org. I will be sure to link that in the description below. It just states that it's a fast, functional, user-friendly distribution based on Gen 2, still backward compatible with it. It maintains an optimal balance between state-of-the-art and stability. It's got start and work, fast as the wind, latest version, stable updates, optimal for BPS. You can get it on desktop, cloud, server, testing, and then, of course, documentation down here, help, Fedverse. And then if you go up top, it's got about products, the wiki, services, the community. you got to calculate user map forum, chat, Mastodon, PeerTube, PixelFed, FunkWhale. So there's a lot of ways to get in touch with them should you have problems. And I'm going to go ahead and close out of their page. And I do like the start page that they have in Chromium. Chromium is the default browser. Now, you get stuff directly from Mastodon that shows in your news feed. And then you've got quick access to Mastodon, Telegram, Facebook, Insta, and YouTube. And I just like the way the start page looks. I think it's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of the website. If you download Calculate Linux, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine, this is the screen you're met with. You do not get a welcome screen. First thing I want to do is right click. You can create new, select all, invert selections, sorting, show hidden, create a launcher, desktop preferences. Let's check that out. You've got your general preferences, which is your icons, label text, and spacing. You can even change your font here if you'd like to. And then backgrounds, stretch the entire screen, and then browse. I don't know if there's a bunch of backgrounds or if they're not all just the same. They look like they're just the same, just different resolutions. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And go to slideshow. Of course, you can set up a folder with certain wallpapers and it'll do a slideshow of them. And then advanced things that you might want on the desktop, you can adjust here. You could apply and have all of those listed on the desktop. That's up to you and your personal preferences. Let's go ahead and shut those off and click OK. Now, as you can see up top, you've got a single panel. On that panel, you've got power, you can lock, it's got date and time, sound. Removable media, device manager, notifications, clipboard, and then, of course, internet. Now, if you right-click on the panel, okay, you can configure task manager, move it, remove it, configure panel. Let's see that. So, panel, the size of it is presently 33 pixels. Can we make it bigger? Let's bump that up to 38. 30, okay, so it does start getting bigger. Okay, so you can change it right here. You can make it bigger or smaller. And then, of course, you can add widgets over here if you would like. You just click Add, Show Desktop, Keyboard State Indicators. You have a few widgets there you could actually put into use as well. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. Then you come over to the left. You've got your desktops. You've got four of them right here on the panel. You've also got your Show Desktop. And then, of course, your File Manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, it is PC Man, I believe. I am going to check. And it is 0.17.0. It's a nice, lightweight file manager. lets you get things done. You do have your usual suspects over here. You've got a bookmark area here. And then, of course, you've got your home folders here. And you can change those to full icons, list, list with details. That's just up to you or how would you would like to see them or how you would like to use them. So just a quick, fast file manager stays out of your way while you get work done. All right, over to the Calculate app menu. Drop down, you have accessories. You've got Featherpad, Calculator, PC Man we just looked at. Graphics, FontForge, GIMPs installed out of the box. Internet, you've got Chromium, you've got Claws Mail, Remina, Qubit Torrent, LibreOffice Suite, Sound and video, you got Clementine, Pulse Audio, Volume Control. System tools, you got CPU dash X, G parted, Q dire stat, Q terminal. Let's go over and check out the Q terminal. I want to see if they have H top installed, and they do. At present, I have two gigabytes of RAM issued to this machine. At rest with just the terminal open, we are running at about 536 megabytes. That's really light, guys. I've been looking at some KDE versions of desktops here recently, and they've been running in the 8s, 9s, right at a gig. This is half of that. This is lightweight. If you've got older machine and you want to make it speed up and do something for you, Calculate Linux is definitely light enough to do that. So we'll go ahead and close out a terminal. Back over to the app menu. System tools. Preferences. LXQT Configuration Center. Let's take a look at that. You can change appearance, brightness, date and time, desktop, desktop notifications, 
open box settings, monitor settings, locale, power management, users and groups. So you've got quite a bit of customization you can do here. You can change the QT style if you want. You can change these colors. Then the icon themes were on the calculate. You've got a few different ones to pick from here. LXQT theme, we're on the calculate. You can set it up to dark, frost, KDE plasma. You have quite a few things you can change there. And then, of course, fonts and cursors. So we'll close out of that. Back up to the app menu. In preferences, we already looked at run program and then, of course, leave. Now, if you want to install software on Calculate Linux, I'm going to open this back up. Adding and removing programs is all done by command line. They do not have a software center. But I will put this down in the link below as well. But it shows you how to add, remove, what commands to use, how to install, things like that. I'll make sure to link this in the description below. So just remember, Calculate Linux does not have a software center. So I'm going to go ahead and close the web browser. And that is pretty much it, guys. That is a quick look at Calculate Linux. It's very lightweight, very snappy. Definitely, if you've got an older system or even a newer system that's low specs, you could throw Calculate on it and it would be pretty snappy for you, be pretty quick. Do you think you might download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine and give it a test drive? If you do, let me know about it in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and like the videos that we're doing, you can buy us a cup of coffee or maybe even become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.